iOS comes with some really good out of the box apps, mail, stocks, weather, just to name a few. But sometimes you need a little pep in your step, a little more than what the stock app is offering. That's where some really good third party apps come in. Today we're gonna look at calendar apps. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about two third-party calendar apps and compare them. Now you might be using the stock calendar app in iOS and that app works great. However, sometimes you might need a little more from a stock app. That's where companies like Flexbits and Readle come in. Flexbits makes Fantastical and Readle makes calendars. We're going to talk about both apps, do a little side-by-side -side comparison, and then you can decide if one of these apps might work for you or if the stock calendar app will take care of your scheduling needs. But before we get into it, take a moment to like this video if you found it useful, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. All right, let's jump into these two apps. Now I will say I'm a little bit biased towards Fantastical and it's the app I've been using for a while now, but I have been using calendars over the past few days and I do like this app a lot. Fantastical is made by Flexbits. We're gonna talk about the paid versions of these, both of these apps. So this one's around 57 a year individually or $90 per year on a family plan and that's up to five users. And then you have calendars made by Readle. Now I do use Spark, which is a Readle app, and I love it. I've tried other mail apps, but you have yet to find something better than Spark. Anyway, that's a whole other video. Calendars is around $20 per year individually with no family plan. Okay, so both apps are available on Mac and iOS, no Android for either. Let's talk about Fantastical first because they do have a feature that is really handy if you happen to need something like this. It's called Openings. If you've heard of apps like Calendly, JotForm, or Microsoft Bookings, this is similar. If you're not familiar with these apps, they let people schedule time on your calendar based on settings you define. So for example, I use Openings with my work calendar. I can send a link to people who will see available time slots where they can schedule a meeting with me. I just log into the Flexbits website and I can set up a meeting template that will configure the calendar, time frames, availability, and more. This is a big feature, especially if you're using something like Calendly and you want to trim down some of your software costs. I have a couple of different calendars, one for work and one that my wife and I share, and then a personal calendar. We also have the holiday calendar and I use Apple reminders that I want to see on my calendar. Okay, so first up we're going to look at calendars and this is what calendars looks like on the Mac. Um, I usually will put this in full screen and use it in a separate window. Um, pretty basic layout here it's calendar you know one thing I do like on the right hand side is that it shows me my plans so for today uh, I can add quickly add tasks in um, that I've got scheduled and I could add new ones in and this is I'm syncing my tasks to reminders uh, Apple reminders the other one is shortcuts where you can create some shortcuts for regular activities that you've got so you can have like some different calendar events that maybe recur at the same or occur at the same time or the, the, the same type of calendar event and you can just create shortcuts and then drag them over onto your calendar so that's kind of a nice little feature um, and then if I'm looking at just what I want to see for calendars the three hamburger button here at the top left right here it's got a little red dot next to it if I click on that that'll show me a month calendar and then it'll show me all the calendars I have available and I can select which calendars I want to see. So this is a little different than Fantastical. Fantastical, and we'll get into that in a little bit, but Fantastical lets you create different calendar sets. So I can create different calendar sets and then choose those sets that uh, have the different calendars behind them. So that's one difference there. If I look at uh, month view, uh, this will show me the month view of the calendar. I can go by week, I can go by day, and then I can look at just my tasks that I've got. Um, so this is a nice little layout. If I uh, bring up settings, you'll see settings here where I can edit my calendars, I can sync. Um, pretty basic for your settings. You've got some view options, weather options. So one thing that is also available that both of these apps have 
is I can click on this little weather icon next to Tuesday the 19th on the third column. There's a little cloud with some rain. We're supposed to have some rain today. So if I click on that, it'll bring up my weather forecast. Um, and one thing I do like about this is it's taking from Apple weather. However, I like the weather view in Fantastical a little better. So um, this is basically the app on the Mac. Let me show you what Fantastical looks like on the Mac. All right, so this is Fantastical on the Mac. Um, kind of opened up in the same week view that we started out with in calendars. This is a little different. Now, keep in mind though, Fantastical's is, Fantastical is more expensive and um, that I think maybe that affords it to have more options and features and things like that. Visually, I prefer Fantastical. Um, calendars is nice as well. Um, but fantastical overall and the way it looks. I do like that. I see my month view on the left hand side. I have an agenda view below that and I'm also looking at the week uh, in front of me. If I click on month, I get the same type of thing. I get my uh, agenda view on the left, my month view. I can go to day, um, week, month, quarter, and year. So this is a, a pretty nice view that you've got within Fantastical. Um, going back to the week view, uh, I mentioned weather. There are weather icons next to the date here. If I click on the weather icon here, it's pulling from AccuWeather. Um, not Apple weather, but AccuWeather. But I do visually like the look of what I see for weather here a little bit better than I do on calendars. Um, so that is your view from here um, you can click on any date and it'll take you to that that spot let's look at uh, entering appointments okay um, if you want to enter an appointment in on the mac in fantastical you can click the plus there's probably a shortcut like a, a command n or something like that but you can click the plus here and you can start entering a new appointment um, it'll put it in your default calendar. It does support uh, like a natural language. So I could say new appointment tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you'll see that it's kind of moving along as I'm typing. You have the ability to change that around. You can add your location. It'll do a search for locations. If you're looking for a specific location, you can choose the calendar you wanna use, and then you can add your event. The other thing that you can do is you can just double click. So if I double click, say here, I can put a new event here as well. Okay, so let's add an event in uh, calendars. So uh, same kind of concept. There's a plus button at the top right. If I click on that, um, let me move this down. It brings my uh, new event. Okay, so now I could say meeting tomorrow. Um, 10 to 11, or let's go meeting. So I'm gonna say meeting 12, 29 from 10 and to 12 p.m. And I could quickly add that meeting in. I can select the calendar that I wanna use for that. I can add the location. I could add in my conferencing service that I wanna use for that, um, any notes, and then I can save. The other thing that you can do, just double click. So I can double click on this. I could um, change this to say like 245 and put in my new, new meeting and I'll put my location in and everything else and I could save that and it's gonna show up here. If you wanna see the details, you just click on the event and it'll show you the details. The other um, thing that's nice here is the color coding. So you do have the color coding between your different calendars. You can see this meeting with Greg that I've got and there's the Google Meet. That's what that looks like. I can quickly join from within calendars. Fantastical has the same option um, that you can see that. And let's take a look at that on the Fantastical side. Okay, on the Fantastical side, we looked at quickly adding an appointment from the top left. Um, you can see the different calendar options here. If I scroll down a little bit and I want to see the details of an event, if I double click on the event and um, show more details, it will take me to that actual, um, to those details on the event itself. 
If you want to see more details about this event, I can double click. And this is actually a nice feature in Fantastical. It pulls up a map view. So I can double click on this. I can see the address of where the event's happening and I can see a map view of uh, where I'm going to be going to. Fantastical also has some features that will show on the iPhone uh, where it'll have time to leave and it supports live activities where calendars does not. Within Fantastical, let's go into the menu options. So um, within your menu options, there's a lot more options that you have available to you in Fantastical than you have in, um, in calendars. So you have the weather, things like weather where you can change your location. Um, it uses AccuWeather again. Um, you can make changes to openings. So uh, we talked a little bit about the website uh, but that you can go to and you can use your this extra feature called openings. There's the accounts you can select from the, your appearance, um, supports night and day view for the app itself. Uh, so uh, you can kind of just see right off the bat, there's a lot more settings and, and options that you can configure for Fantastical. One thing that calendars does not have, but Fantastical does, is a menu bar icon. So it's really easy to add new events up at the top above December 2023. This is a field where I can just start adding events. I can also search from here and then you have a month view. Um, and then below that you have your agenda that you can take a look at and you can look at things that you've got going on. You can click on something and bring up details about it. Uh, so this is a really nice feature. You can also choose what calendar sets show here. So this is something that is additional for Fantastical but calendars doesn't have. All right, let's turn our attention to the app. So um, you've got Fantastical and calendars. A couple widgets that I use uh, a lot are the Fantastical widget that you see in the second one down where you've got the big date, the month, the day, and then you've got your uh, events that you have on the right hand side. There's a little bit of weather there as well. The comparable one I had to that was Calendars, their widget right up above it. The one thing I really like about Calendars is that it shows um, the current event that's going on right now and a quick way to join uh, via, in this case, Google Meet. So that's a really nice feature. I like that in the widget. Um, you can quickly add an event in the Fantastical widget. There's a little plus on the bottom right there. And then if we go into the app itself, let's go into calendars first. So within calendars, uh, when I'm looking at this, I've got different views up at the top. I can look at tasks. I can look at my list view. I can look at day view, week and month. So it's really easy to switch between. You can quickly add an event if I click the plus. Um, it does support like a natural language input. So you can just start typing new meeting. Um, December 30th at 9 a.m. And so it'll start putting those events in there. And then if you show details, you can pick which calendar, add your video call calling service and everything else from it. So pretty quick to add new events. Um, if you wanna see the calendars that it's showing, you click the three bars, the hamburger at the top left, and then that will take you into your calendar view and you can also look at some settings there as well. One more thing to show you there, if I wanted to, at the bottom you have your dates that you can scroll between, and if I tap on that, I can go up to a month view. So I can see my month view and I can jump to different days that I wanna go to. All right, let's look at Fantastical. So in Fantastical, uh, when I jump in here, this is nice because I have this set to show my month view and then I have my agenda view down below. If I didn't want to see the month view, I can move this up and um, that month just becomes a week view. Uh, and if I, I get more real estate for my agenda view, but if I wanted to, I can just swipe down and then I've got a month view here. Search button at the top right. If I want to add an event that's at the bottom right of the screen, the plus, and I can do uh, natural language as well. Um, we've got some shortcuts here to help you out. 
and it starts filling that in. It's kind of cool. It shows you all that that's, as you're typing it, those things kind of go down to the calendar view and you can see. And then if I go into more info, I can scroll through, add my Google Meet, my calendar that I want it to show in. So it's really easy to, to add an event there as well. And then calendar sets, um, like I mentioned earlier, if I click on the calendar set, I can select which calendars I want to see in this particular view. So I could have like um, maybe like sports schedules or something like that in a particular calendar and I could pull up that calendar view and that doesn't interfere with maybe like a work calendar and maybe work and family calendar that I want to see in a different calendar set. So you have that capability. At the top left there's um, the view to see calendar. You can go full screen. You can also kind of rotate. And that is Fantastical's view. I think I, I actually prefer Fantastical. Um, the weather icons and stuff that come up, if I click on the weather icon, I see the weather icon there as well. Of course, you probably have your own um, weather app that you're using anyway, and I've certainly done some videos on weather. You don't see the weather app or weather icons here in the calendars app, but you do see them on the calendars Mac OS app. All right, so that's our look at Fantastical and calendars. Like I said before, I've been a Fantastical user for a few years now, and I love all the features and design of the app, but calendars is a nice app too, and I came away impressed after using it. I think it really comes down to price. If you don't need all the extra features and you have one calendar, Apple Calendar is probably just fine. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you need some of the extra features I showed earlier, calendars is a pretty strong option for you. And finally, if you liked or didn't know about some of the features Fantastical offers, or if you want to set up multiple calendars, this one is definitely worth checking out. If you're in the market for a calendar app, hope this video helps you out. As always, I'd love to hear what app you all are using in the comments below. Fantastical, calendars, something else? Always curious to see what apps others are using. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.